your truth. If you do not share your story with me, how will I find my own? Rumi says, unfold your own myth so our story cache grows richer. As we unfold, others open. The world is a mess, not because people tell their stories, but because many remain silent, while others impose on us, claiming there is only one way to live. Every life has meaning, but so many never tell their own. We are thus equipped, less equipped, to live ours. Tell your truth, at least some of it, today. Let it rise, need it, and rise again. Need and rise, need and rise. Fill the air with piquant hope. Nourish a starving world that pretends to know why and how we live. Touch a soul, it might be your own. And our gospel reading this morning is from Matthew chapter 5, 1 to 12. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to a mountain. He sat down, and his disciples came to him. He taught them, saying, Happy are people who are hopeless, because the realm of heaven is theirs. Happy are people who grieve, because they will be made glad. Happy are people who are humble, because they will inherit the earth. Happy are people who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness, because they will be fed until they are full. Happy are people who show mercy, because they will receive mercy. Happy are people who have pure hearts, because they will see God. Happy are people who make peace, because they will be called God's children. Happy are people whose lives are harassed because they are righteous, because the realm of heaven is theirs. Happy are you when people insult you and harass you and speak all kinds of bad and false things about you because of me. Be full of joy and be glad because you have a great reward in heaven in the same way people harassed the prophets who came before you.